All right, we got our next load. Two F550 trucks heading west on 80. They're actually already been preloaded on the trailer. So all I gotta do is get out there and tie it down. Fucking cold and windy out there. So I'm finna put them thermals on, you know what I'm saying? Cause I am not finna be freezing my ass off out there trying to work. Bars are good for more than just breaking it. Okay, yes, I know it's another vehicle. Another vehicle tied on, big deal, right? Anyways, hook the chain up around the axle. Hook the chain up around the axle, both ends. Do an X cross. Get your binders and go. Now, what you see here, so we've got some length, some extra length for overhanging. Okay. I'm gonna have to throw a flag back here. Now, this is a 48 foot trailer, I think, I wanna say. 
I don't really know. But we got some serious overhang. So I'm gonna have to throw a fucking flag on there. So watch me figure out how to put a flag on when you don't have anything to use to attach with. You mama. All right. And uh, up here, we've also done the same thing. Make sure it's tight. Make sure it's hooked up good. Make sure we're hooked up good. It's tight. I'm gonna miss my snap binders. But I still got two more, but I had four total, so. Let's see if I can figure out a flag. Well, how do you like my flag job? I just kinda got a bungee cord and ran it around the hook. Ran it over here, hooked it in there, and did the same thing on this side. So, now if somebody rams me, it ain't my fault. I hope not. Jesus Christ, man. All right, so let me go ahead and roll up my straps, get, grab my knife, roll up my straps that I got laying over here on my old deck here. Roll those up. And pistachio, get the fuck out of here. TA doing the laundries. I've got so much laundry that this one's almost full. I'm probably gonna end up using two laundry, uh, I mean, uh, washing machines. So I'll probably use those. I'm gonna hit these dryers once I get done with that. So this one's full. And I only got a little bit left, but I got some more stuff in the truck, so I'll run back to the truck and grab the rest, like my jacket and my coveralls that I tend to wear when I know I gotta get dirty and I don't wanna get my clothes dirty. So I put those on over. So I'll definitely put a jacket in there and my coveralls, this is ready to go. So we got the Tide Pods, yeah. And then as soon as I get done with this, as soon as I get the laundry started, you know what I'm finna do? I'm finna come over here, right? Boom, boom, I'm finna get on that. I'm finna get on this and I'm finna work this floor. Couldn't have came to a better truck stop, man. Deuce. <laughs> So I just got out the shower, it felt great. You know, I got my little workout in, got it like a good hour in on the weight training and shit. Got me in the shower and while I was doing the little exercise and shower, I had my um, clothes in the laundry, washer and dryer, right? And I even paid like an extra, it was 25 cents for an extra 10 minutes. So I dumped an extra quarter in there for, you know, 55 minutes of drying time. You know, I, oh, I like to use the Dawn pods too. I like to use the pods. Anyway, who cares, right? Man, I just checked my clothes after 55 minutes. The, my clothes are still wet, so I don't know if it was like... I don't know if I got so many clothes in there 
that uh, it just wouldn't dry it or the damn dryer's weak. The dryers are pretty weak though, I ain't gonna lie. So I literally just paid for like another 65 minutes because I got a thick, heavy Carhartt jacket in there along with um, those coveralls. So if I got wet t-shirts and shit, like damp, no, not wet, but damp t-shirts, I know that big, thick ass, heavy jacket's wet. So yeah, I went ahead and stuck some more in there. So I guess right now I'm gonna go back to the truck, put my, you know, uh, necessities back in the truck. Then I'm gonna go back inside and buy a salad. And I think they got spaghetti and meatballs in there too. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm finna fuck with that and uh, see what that's about. But I'm glad that this TA has got a, um, a gym, a little gym in there. I wish more truck stops had them, man. I really do. And this is the first time that I got to even get into a gym at a truck stop. I've seen them before at TAs and Petros, but they'd be closed down because of um, COVID. You know what I'm saying? So I was very pleased to see that it was open. I got me a good burn in there. I'm pumped. I'm happy. So yeah. Is it 